Hai, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh Bismillahirrahmanirrahim You are here with me again watching lectures on chapter 2 states of matter lesson 12 we are going to learn about single component system and we are going to be introduced to phase equilibrium firstly we are going to define phase and component and we also have to define triple point and critical point in the phase diagram. We need to be able to sketch and explain the phase diagram for water and carbon dioxide and how they are anomaly compared to the other normal elements. We need to be able to describe the changes in phase with respect to the temperature and the pressure. Physical changes take place when the state of matter changes. Phase equilibrium is referring to the equilibrium of different phases for a system. System is any part of the material world that we are talking about. It can be open, closed or isolated. Phase is a homogeneous part of a system which can be separated by distinct boundary, solid, liquid or gas. Number of phase is referring to the number of states of matter that is homogeneous in chemical composition and physical state. Component that we are referring to in this lesson is the chemical species of a phase that can exist independently. Let's look at how is it that the system is said to be open, closed or isolated. A closed system is a system whereby it can exchange energy but not mass with its surrounding. For example, you have a regular coffee and then you closed it with something that will not make the water vapor out. Oh, I will damage my calculator. So you would know how an open system is. You just let the energy and mass go out from the system and open the lid of the container. But for isolated system, there you have the regular coffee cup with a padded polystyrene material. Ah, the isolated system can exchange neither mass nor energy with its surrounding. Now, what is phase? Phase is a homogeneous part of a system which is separated by a distinct boundary, for example, solid, liquid and gas. A phase change means a physical change in the state of matter. Phase changes depend on pressure, temperature, concentration. In summary, the changes of the states of matter can be interpreted in this diagram where you have melting, freezing, boiling, condensing, sublimation and deposition. For our orange juice, it is two phase because the solid phase is ice and the liquid phase is water. This is an example of a three phase system where you have salt, saturated salt at the bottom of the beaker and then it has liquid that consists of um, homogeneous salt and water and also water vapor at the top of the beaker. Here are more examples. Mixes of gas is single phase. A crystal of diamond is single phase. Two totally miscible liquid, for example, our sugary drinks, is one phase. An alloy, two-phase system, is two-phase if immiscible, but it is a single phase if miscible, for example, our Malaysian pewter. It's just one phase because it's miscible. And another one is two liquids, immiscible. They are said to be two phases although they referred as a mixture. For example, 
water and oil. They are immiscible, but because both are liquid, uh, still we consider it as two-phase. Now, what is component? Components are substances that make up a system. Number of components in a system is a minimum number of independent species. Here are some examples. Sodium chloride solid is one component system. Water is one component system. But when we dilute sodium chloride in water, it's going to be two component system existing in one phase. So what about the mixtures of ethanol and water? They are two component system because we have two species, water and ethanol. Let's look at the relationship between system phase and component. For mixtures of gases, it has only one phase and the component, it depends on the types of gases. We can see the gases are well mixed so we cannot see the boundary between the gases. For two liquids that are immiscible, for example, oil and water, they are two phases, they are two components, because we can see the boundary between the two liquids. Whereas, for two liquids that are well mixed, are totally miscible, uh, its phase is only one, the components are two, because we cannot see the boundaries. Let's do an exercise to see whether we understand the relationship between phases and components. So firstly, let's look at number one, brass. It's tembaga, the mixtures between copper and zinc. It is two component, but one phase because it is totally miscible. And number two, steam is the water vapor it is one component and one phase this is number two diamonds is made out of carbon carbon is one component and one phase three and the boiling water is we have water and vapor inside the system that would be two components and no, it is one component and two phase. And then number five is water and sand. This is two component and two phase. What about number six, synthesis gas? This is two component but one phase because it's mixtures of gas. Number seven, water and petroleum is two unmixed liquid that is two component and two phase number seven and finally is it correct one component and two phase melting ice yes the same as the boiling water number eight there you go completed exercise what is single component system we have to look at phase diagram which is a graph that is showing the effect of temperature and pressure to the phase changes Phase diagrams are used to predict the phase of a substance at a given temperature and pressure. So we can see the phase changes whereby it transforms from one phase to another and it occurs when energy is added or removed. Here we are going to talk about only one chemically independent species and we know that the temperature and pressure can change the phases. So the question is, how do we explain why ice and dry ice behave differently? Single component system will undergo these three phase changes in between them. A big question mark. What is the phase diagram? Here it is. Shown to you is a general phase diagram for one component system. You can see that there is A, B, C and O plotted in the graph. 
the y-axis is pressure in ATM and the x-axis is temperature in degrees Celsius. We will look at the parts of phase diagram shortly. The areas of X, Y and Z is solid, liquid and gas respectively. You can refer in your book at page 70, figure 2.17. There are three lines there. OA lines is when solid is equilibrium with gas. OB is when solid is equilibrium with liquid. And OC is when liquid is equilibrium with gas. So all these three lines is associated with the variation of sublimation, melting and boiling respectively. What is point O? Point O is called triple point. There are three phases in equilibrium there. Solid equilibrium with liquid equilibrium with gas. The third point is C. C is called critical point, whereby it is a temperature above critical point. Here, there will be no phase boundary between liquid and gas, and it is impossible to liquefy gas, although at high pressure. This slide is the answer for the question in your example 2.10. Insert the name of the process whereby the phase change occurs in between the phases in figure 2.17. So you can use the graph in that page. And then you can write down the melting and freezing at line OB, vaporization and condensation at line OC, and sublimation and deposition at line OA. The next graph we are going to look at is the phase diagram for water. Water has an anomalous behavior. Why? We can see straight away that the OB line is sloping to the left instead of to the right. Let's see what happens there. In the phase diagram of water, there are three regions, solid, liquid and gas, but there are four lines, OA, OB, OC and OD. Let's look at each one of them. What is the anomalous behavior of water? Let's look at line OB. It is a negative slope. We can see there that the melting temperature decreases with pressure. So the higher the pressure, the lower the melting point of the ice. Most solids are denser than their liquids, but special for ice only, ice is less dense than water. It will be floating, like in our drinks, cold drinks. So, it shows there that the volume of water is less than the volume of ice. At high pressure, volume decreases, so ice melts to water. Here, solid changes to liquid. For line OC, it is normal for water. Point O for the phase diagram of water is 0.01 degrees Celsius at 0.006 atm. It's very specific there. And point C, the critical point, is 374 degrees Celsius at 218 atm. There's another line OD. It's a metastable state where the stability of water still exists below freezing point. Now, we want to look at the phase diagram of carbon dioxide. Why does carbon dioxide sublimes from gas directly to solid? Because the O point 
is very high, 5.2 atm. And the pressure of atmospheric is 1 atm. So carbon dioxide will cross the phase diagram here. In the phase diagram of carbon dioxide, there are also three regions, solid, liquid, and gas, and there are three lines, OA, OB, and OC. Line OB for carbon dioxide is normal. It represents the variation of melting temperature sloping to the right. Therefore, the solid carbon dioxide is denser than the liquid of carbon dioxide. Line OC represents the variation of boiling temperature with pressure. But if we look at the points O and C, the pressure are very high. Point O is negative 57 degrees Celsius and 5.2 atms, whereas the normal atmospheric pressure is just 1. That's why carbon dioxide will transform from solid to gas immediately without going through liquid phase. The critical point is 31 degrees Celsius and 73 atm. It's very high. In conclusion, the phase diagram of carbon dioxide is typical, showing a rightward sloping positive slope of melting line. Solid carbon dioxide is denser than liquid carbon dioxide, but the triple point is having a very high pressure, 5.2 atm. So, at 1 atm, carbon dioxide sublimes and dry ice will change directly from solid to gas. Let's do example 2.11 where we want to find the phase changes for A until G. The easiest way for us to answer this question is label the areas of phase in your phase diagram. So down here is the area for gas. Here is solid and this part small here is liquid. So A will be transformed from gas to solid. B from solid it becomes C liquid. C from liquid becomes D, gas. D, gas, it will become E, liquid. E to F is liquid turns to solid and F to G is from solid turn back to liquid. Let's do your practice 2.7. Analyze the phase diagram for carbon dioxide and answer in what phase carbon dioxide should exist at. You can use figure 2.19 in the previous page. So let's look at the first one. Negative 60 degrees Celsius is around here. And 6 atm is around here. So it will be in the form of solid. Negative 60 degrees Celsius at 2 atm. 2 atm is around here. So here it is gas. Negative 45 is here. And 10 is over here. So it is liquid. Negative 57 is here. 5.2 atm is here. So our answer is solid, equilibrium to liquid, equilibrium with gas. There are three phases in the point D here. Okay? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. We have finished chapter 2. So we hope you would be able to understand lesson 10, 11, 12, and 13 as we are going to cover it all in week 6. Inshallah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you soon, my dear students.